Hello, David. Chris? Yes, it's really me. But it's wonderful to see you. You don't have to say that if you don't mean it. You must have thought you got rid of me forever. Don't worry, David. It's just a flying visit. Well, look, um, come to the house. Headmaster's house, eh? What luxury. Oh, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Ulrich Meyer, from Germany. Come on, Ulrich, don't be shy. Come and shake hands with Mr. Pilot Jones. He's a very kind man and a very old friend of mine. I'm very pleased to meet you, Ulrich. Thank you, Mr. Pilot Jones. Oh, mustn't forget the cheese. Ulrich's just lost his father, David, and his mother died a year ago. We've been together for about six months. Ulrich and I, that is, not the cheese. Uh, the cheese is quite fresh, I hope. In a way, I've adopted you, haven't I, Ulrich? Miss Foster has been very kind. Come along. My goodness, what a tea. Ulrich, uh, could you eat the last scone? No, thank you, Mr. Powell Jones. I'm quite full. Oh. Well. You do do yourself well, David. Tea and scones, hardly the lap of luxury, is it? You should have been where I've been. Looking well, too. Put on weight, haven't you? Yes, very much the picture of the successful headmaster. I, um, I haven't really changed, you know, Chris? I hope not. Good day. So, uh, what have you been doing? Where have you been? Oh, everything, everywhere. I did try to write when I could. Not often enough. Well, one thing led to another. Things really seem to be working out for me now, touch wood. It's an odd feeling. Good, though? Oh, yes. You see, when I finished my thesis in Canada, my professor in Toronto was so pleased with it, he got me a grant to research into trade union history in Canada and the United States. That led to what I'm doing now. Refugee work? Yes, the workers leaders are far more internationally minded over there. Do you know Harry Morgan, the miners' leader? Yes, I've heard of him. He's a wonderful man. Welsh, of course, he's still got an accent as thick as your brother's. Well, he took me under his wing, made sure I really understood what I was writing about, got me in everywhere. And when I'd finished, he read it all through and he said, very nice carry out now, how would you like to do something useful? And he got me a job with this refugee organization working from Paris. I've been working for them in Munich ever since. And it is good to be doing something useful. Well. Here you've been, all this time. Yes, I'm afraid so. Chris, um, do you mind my asking, when you were in Canada, did you... Did um... I see Rowley? Yes, I did. I, um... I'd rather not go into that now, if you don't mind. It's uh, still a bit messy and complicated, but I, I think it's going to work out all right. Yes, of course. I, I didn't mean to pry. Actually, what I did want to talk about... Do you think we could have some more scones? Yes, of course, Mrs. Martin's always got some. Ulrich, could you go to the kitchen? Ask Mrs. Martin if you could fetch us some more scones. Oh, that's all right, Ulrich. You sit down. No, no, Ulrich will go. He likes to practice his English. He'll find his own way, won't you, Ulrich? Sorry about that. I'm asking for favours again, of course. You're used to that from me. Go on. I don't know if you've any idea what it's really like over there. No, you can't have... The English papers either print nothing at all or they think Hitler's a jolly good chap. Mm, and I can't say I take to him much. Ulrich's Jewish, of course. His father was a jeweller. Just a small shop. Watch repairs and so on. Last July, a bunch of brown shirts dragged him out of the shop and kicked him to death on the pavement outside. Ulrich saw it happen. God. I, I'd heard of such things happening, but... But you never thought they'd come so close. Even Banfield's not an island, David. I'm afraid Ulrich may still be in a state of shock, even now, as if he can't take it in. Yes, well, I can understand that. I'd like you to take him on, if you think you could help him. 
You see, the organisation has decided to pay for the cost of a boarding school education in England, and I recommended Bamfield. I told them it was a school that really cared about the individual welfare of the boys, and I wouldn't trust him to anybody else. I uh, thought you despised Bamfield. <laughs> I seem to have changed then, don't I? Oh, I still think it's insular and privileged, all right, but a privileged haven is just what he needs. Well, I, I can't look after him myself, and I, I won't let him go to anybody else. You're the best man I know. Will you take him? Oh, Chris, of course I will, if he'll take us. But it's not going to be easy for him. Nothing's going to be easy for him now. Oh, well done, Laurie. Come and sit down over here. Yes, we have been talking about you. Something good, I hope. Ulrich, how would you like to come and be a student here, at Mr. Powlett Jones's school? If you think it would be good for me, I, I shall be very contented. Well, it'll be a new experience for me, sewing name tapes into all those vests. Ah. I can't believe he's going to need everything on this list. Oh, yes. Oh, I, I, and Bugger Kit, too. I, has he played Bugger? Have you ordered? Bugger? I don't think I know that, Mr. Powell Jones. Well, you'll find out soon enough. What is it? Well, look forward to it. Don't worry, Chris. We'll look after him. I'll uh, put him in one news house. Molly's well, got a gift for lame dogs and misfits. He's not a lame dog, David. <sighs> Sorry. I know you'll do your best for him. Goodbye, David. And thanks. See you soon. Both of you. I think I got him in the right place, do you? Oh, undoubtedly. Now, I might observe in passing that no money knew. 